Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium, where they will shake down thunder from the sky to cheer on their fighting Irish and hoping that plenty of echoes will reverberate in victory at the end of the game. Today, a rank versus rank matchup as a couple of top 25 teams get set to go jaw to jaw. As we'll see the number 20 team in the country, the Louisville Cardinals, taking on the eighth ranked team in the land, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Notre Dame looking for a strong kick to get this one underway. He'll bring it out. It's Turner. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. So Louisville's return team didn't help matters out much there. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play a man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. He's got it again. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, limiting his carries. Third and six, and they'll need a big play here on this opening drive. Dropping back, it's shot. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Just got to wonder, too, guys, if the crowd didn't impact the offense. They're playing on the road on the first third down of this football game. Incomplete. The idea here, I think, just put it away and see if you can regroup, because this environment is hostile. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes a move. He was working his way on the return toward midfield. They'll stop him at the 46. So Notre Dame's offense will go to work for the first time today. One thing to watch, can this guy get in the quarterback's head and make him take a peek at the rush, David? Dang, Skippy, that's what you want to do. You want to make this guy a little bit more human and not as much of a game breaker at the quarterback spot? Get some pressure on him, hit him a few times. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he can't hurt you if he's laying on his back. And this defensive end can put him there often. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Gonna try to pop one on the screen. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going for a big play downfield. Takes the grip and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. He leaves it with his back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Ty 
tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. The play action fake. Into the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. It is perfect. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. That coach has to be happy. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. They go to the ground. He'll be stopped at the 27, but picks up 10 on that one. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. He'll keep it himself. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. And that's what I love about the QB run game in this offense is it just keeps these defenses off balance. We're going to see a lot of running backs doing their work between the tackles in this game as well. But you see how mixing in the quarterback run, too, it just keeps this defense so confused. Dropping back, it's shut. Fires to the big fella. The Cardinals pick up the first down. This is a tight end that not only is going to play with his hand in the ground, but he can line up in the slot as well and attack the defense vertically. He's too fast for linebackers to cover, and he's too big for DBs to cover. He's a real weapon in this offense. And the Cardinals will snap it on first and ten. Leaves it with the running back. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He'll pull it on the read. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Really nice job on the defense, shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now, play sound, and more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll try the run. They could have used a little bit more there, picked up a three. It's third and seven. All right, well, the option here they're trying to get this run game established they obviously don't break off a long run there but they're just trying to find their footing at this point decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down from the gun wants to pass can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough hard-nosed pass defense and now it's fourth down Love the effort on defense that time. That looked like that was going to be a completion downfield, but the physicality of the defender jarred the ball loose. The Cardinals will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot. Here come the Irish back on offense. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here. Dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points.
They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. He'll do it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. I understand this. That QB is a threat, and they're going to run all kinds of options. He's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Finds his man. It's Mitchell. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll be content with the field position, making the fair catch right around the 30-yard line. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Now on the counter. Found a little space, and he's got forward at the 35. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pick up a four on first down at second and six. Back to throw, it's shot. He lobs one high down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers and he couldn't hold on and the offense clearly saying we want to take those deep shots we want to be aggressive and I, and I think that's a good strategy because it makes the defense really honor what you're going to do and just missed a little bit but I wouldn't be surprised if this offense finds a way to come back to some of those deep ones to the 43 yard line and a first down for this offense and they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defense Defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Well, right away after picking up the first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football successfully on first down. If you're starting like that, now what opens up? Play action. Now you're making me play pass and run this offense. If they can create that run physicality, now it opens up everything else. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. The marker is at the 35, and they need to get it there to convert third down. Looking to throw it, Chuck. Didn't have anything working and just had to throw it away on third down. And on that third down play, there just wasn't any timing between the quarterback as an intended target. As a result, ball falls incomplete, setting up for it. The Cardinals line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. They'll get this drive going from the 17. Here's the handoff. And they make the stop, and that will likely bring us to the end of the first quarter.
Guys, we've come to the end of the quarter, and Notre Dame has the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. The give from the gun. Dances away from one. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Man, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, the running back has it. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. And that'll be enough to give Notre Dame a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. You gotta get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. This Notre Dame offense carving it up. They're working with another first down. Hand off from the gun. Solid fundamentals on that tackle from this freshman. After picking up a couple at second and eight. On the ground, it's Bob. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Wants to throw. It's Leonard. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And money down is where you see defenses really understand where the sticks are, play great pass defense, know what's coming, and get off the field. The Irish send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll check the spot. I think they'll have it right around the 40-yard line. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. Out of the gun, the inside kick. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. The Cardinals get enough for the first down. Man, I do not want a guy that will dance. I want square shoulders to the line of scrimmage, take the snap, secure the football, play physical, and fall forward. Nice job by that running back getting the first down. And the Cardinals will line it up on first and ten. 
They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. That completion leaves us with second and medium. It's reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's so easy to let your eyes lie to you to see the ball kind of go the other way. What's my assignment? My assignment is to make sure I contain on the backside. Great job by the defense not getting fooled, playing their assignment, making the play. Now on third down for this offense. Looking to throw, it's shot. On target. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. I don't always have to push the ball down the field. I love when QBs drop back, look at it matchups. Oh, I got my running back. I think he can get the first down. Give him the football. Let him be an athlete with the football in his hands after he catches it. Nice job by the QB. Nice job by the running back. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. And the pressure was all over him in the blink of an eye. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that play. You could tell defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. After that five yard loss, some work to do now to keep this drive humming at second and 15. Leaves it with the back. Jumped on top of the pile. Listen, in these situations, it's so hard to push the ball down the field because the defense is playing pass. We bring in more DBs. We're, we're dropping deep in our, in our coverage and we're making you throw the ball underneath or run the football. Nice job by the running back. Listen, he got good yards. He didn't get the first down, but now he's in a situation where third down becomes something where it's not predictable. Now it's a situation where they can go out and have success. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Unloads it left. Holds it in. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Cardinals! How about the renaissance of the tight ends? In line, flexed out, split out. They can do a little bit of everything. They really can, and they're asked to block a lot of the times, too. But I tell you what, all the wide receivers out wide, the fancy toys, the fancy spread, don't forget about that tight end. He does a little bit of everything, and then you reward the big fella throwing the ball, and he catches. So he really can do a little bit of everything in an offense. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. A 67-yard touchdown drive there, and they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Price. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone was not a good one. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. To the ground with the back. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Looking for a crease. It's Bob. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Third down after the run. 
to the air. It's Leonard looking down the middle. A strike downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Nice job by the receiver on the end route there. And how about the speed after he made his break? He was able to actually separate a little bit from the DB, helping out his QB on that one. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. He's going to pass. Grabbed over the middle. It's Evans. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Nifty little dance step. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. And under the watchful eye of touchdown Jesus, the Irish are starting to roll on the ground. Starting to get that big physical ground game going. And one thing you know about Notre Dame traditionally over the years, offensive line play is always great. They're always making holes and they're always playing super physical. Well, it's a nice job by the defender. They're closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're going to complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal game. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. And a chance to really carry momentum with them into the locker room if they can take the lead here. First and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Notre Dame! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. to attempt to try. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So a drive there of 82 yards and close to deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane and they'll stop him at the 16. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Finds a man on the right. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Back to pass, it's Shuck. Going up top. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. Second and ten, he'll throw again. It's caught. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being 
on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. The Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No fair catches here, looking for room. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. They'll throw it on first down. Quickly to the tight end. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. And you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fellow, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. At the 35, he's loose. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. They'll immediately call timeout. They build their attack around those big plays, and they got one to give them a first and 10 in the red zone at the 18. That's caught. It's locked. Nice patience by the quarterback here, working against zone coverage. He was allowing his receiver an opportunity to find that open space in the defense before pulling the trigger. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Good right down the boulevard. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Coverage team there to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great one in South Bend going on. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that said, let's send it back to the fellas there in the shadows of Touchdown Jesus. And the Cardinals will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here come the Irish back on offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fan. Caught over the middle. It's Mitchell. And he's brought down after a nice game. He picked up a big chunk of yardage there, and there will be Irish jigs going in the stands. Yeah, and a lot of excitement. If, if they can find these down the field explosive plays and find a wide receiver out there they can depend on, this offense can really explode and take off to a new level. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it on the outside. It's Evans. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for the defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. Line getting set on second down. Looking to pass. It's Leonard. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Hey, that's a live ball. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Well, it's a nice job by him making the catch, but guys, you got to secure the ball and put it away. The play's not over. And give the defender credit for knocking it loose, and the defense jumps on.
the Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle and make an incredible catch and just give some life to this offense. Hey, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on the board. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Unleashes it. Got his man. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. There's a great example of the offensive coordinator and quarterback being on the exact same page. The coordinator's anticipating man coverage. The quarterback recognizes it, and immediately he knows which receiver to go to to attack this defense. Power football with the run. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the passing. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. Running it to the right. Able to get one down to the 15. They'll try to bully their way for the first. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. It's good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. On the ground, it's Bob. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. They're strong, and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Back to throw, it's Leonard. Fires a bullet, now it's picked off. Couldn't find much breathing room to return it, but the interception has this offense in business at the 27. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football, and you saw it right there. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. Leaves it with the back. Tough run in this part of the field. He's got four down to the 23. Well, this offense came into the game knowing they wanted to be physical. They wanted to establish the line of scrimmage, and they're running downhill right at this defense. They're churning out positive yardage early. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved. And I'm on defense because...
because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third down, going up top. Catch in the middle, it's Lacey. And he's brought down after a nice game. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the... Touchdown, Louisville! And that one will give him the lead. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish it by firing one in from the 13 for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here come the Irish, back on offense. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. That last completion sets him up on second down. The give to the back. They'll mark him down at the 37. It's a 10-yard gain. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They're going to ride this running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run. Got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making the tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. Looking to throw, it's Leonard. Unloads to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And it goes through his hands oh he had an explosive play right there for the taking but couldn't reel it in that's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down you set up third and longs like that you can show your exotic looks you can get the pass rush going everybody in the back end expecting throw and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way he'll call for the fair catch here Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drop. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. 
guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. And now on first down after converting with the run. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And there's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. The Cardinals getting set on first and ten. Pulls it and fires to the left. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. My old coach said to never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Hand off to the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one player, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defense. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. You need to put more plays together like that right there. Scanning the field. It's shot. Throws to the wideout. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And this offense stays aggressive, and they pass the football. I think you can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it, be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. And the Cardinals decide to punt it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Here come the Irish again, this time doing it through the air. And getting a little balance, right? We talked about how they like to be physical and they like to run the football. But when you get that balance going, man, it makes it easy to call plays, start to settle in, everything looking good on offense. They'll leave it with him. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. They'll go to the ground. And he gets it out past the sticks, and Notre Dame will have a first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Notre Dame ready to go back to work with another first down. Running back searching for a hole. Fakes his man out. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Grabbed in the middle. It's Thomas. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. Off play action on first down. He's open on the right. 
He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open and they find holes in zones or they get good matchups and man those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop operating in the red zone here on second down And off from the shotgun. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Oh, man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know. Block that. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? A third and long here. They can't pick up the first down without getting the touchdown. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. Looking to the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. They move on top here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And it's good, and he pushes the lead to three. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter coming. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a goal. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run play action. Takes the easy throw in the flat. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. Caught close to the marker. It's Lacey. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. It's tough on the defense there. Third down, you're in zone coverage. Everybody's watching the quarterback, and you're trying to make a break on the ball, but he just got it out of his hands too quickly, and the throw was too accurate. Really nothing you can do there, and it's now a fresh set of downs. The Cardinals have it with a first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Gets it out fast. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. A great job sneaking out of backfield, getting the football, and letting them get some positive yards. Second down coming up. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to get through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. It just left that pass short. Not enough juice on that one. Normally, I would say, 
fourth and short on your own side of the field, you punt the ball away, but we're in the fourth quarter, and they need to keep this drive going to win. I say go for it. And the Cardinals will send out the punt unit. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. And the ball comes to rest right there. Here come the Irish back on offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David. Just giving the quarterbacks. He ran out of bounds in the end zone, and that'll be a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they did. After giving up that safety, they'll have to boot it away and give it right back to them. He's brought down, but a really nice return gets it to the 41. First play of the drive comes from the 41. To the air, it's shot. Fires to the tight end. And you've created some great momentum. Getting a stop, forcing them to punt. Now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in the groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. Just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, getting them making the backfield for a tackle for a Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Wants to go up top. Got it set up on the outside. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. It's first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. I love how the wide receiver just wasn't lazy on this play because he could have cut that route short, but he knew he had to extend the route to make sure he got that first down and help keep this drive alive. The Cardinals are moving quickly down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the quarterback will take a sack back at the 36. Well, the one thing we know about this defense is they've got some exotic looks, and they're not afraid to bring pressure from the second level. That time they brought the free safety, and he was able to get home and sack the quarterback. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the run. Stumbled to the ground. Well, in that down and distance, you're probably expecting him to throw it way down the field to get the first. Instead, they go push pass, and they did catch the defense off guard. And even though that was a big explosive play, David, they still didn't have enough yards to get it. Well, and catch me off guard relative that's what you would say the offensive player I would say listen we're playing a little bit deeper because we're not going to give up a first down we react to the short stuff and obviously that's a quick easy pass from the offense rally up make the play live to fight another day and after the incompletion I know there's a big urge right now to just go for it right it's fourth and short we can seize this thing I think you just got to do the smart thing you need a field goal you're only trailing by a bit do the smart thing take the point still a lot of football to go this kicker is going to need nerves of steel on this one. And this to Seesaw back on top here in the fourth. Never a doubt. And after the field goal, guys, they are back on top.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. He'll bring it out. It's Price. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Lost to throw on first down. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. Let's see if they can get out of their own way on second and long from the eight. The give to the single back. Follows that surge up front. He's got five out to the 13. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking for a man. It's Leonard. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now a fair catch is called for it may just shy of midfield. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. The give and tick, 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 tick. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there was just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. These fans stepping up. gun wants to pass he lost it high and deep down the left side it's complete a huge pickup couldn't quite nudge it in not sure you could get much closer but it'll be first and goal and what a big conversion by the offense there with the lead late you're just trying to stay on the field and bleed the clock at this point it's tick 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 let's run this clock down as low as we can before we snap it We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. And the defense in desperation mode trying to hang on to give their team a chance. Power ahead. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cardinals. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. Setting up for the PAT, and when he gets this late, every point matters. And that extra point might be the thing that brings it home. They're up by nine late in the fourth. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. Fielded in the end zone. It's Price. 
Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. He'll start this drive firing. He's got an open man. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. He's taking the deep shot. Pulls it in on the right. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Really nice timing on that throw. Quarterback had to hold it, allow his receiver to work his route, but he threw it at the perfect moment so that he was able to make the catch inbounds right on the sideline. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He'll come out throwing on first down. Complete to the left. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Irish! And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and give me the rock back. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with the final 30 yards coming courtesy of that touchdown pass. Now down by two inside a minute to go. If they can get this onside kick, maybe they could get into field goal range. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. This is where the pressure can start to build a little bit, trying to hold on to a two-point lead, Jesse. You're right, Reese. After giving up a score in that last possession, you just feel the sense of urgency now. It's really, really high, David. This offense, they've got to answer. Yeah. But you've got to remember, it's okay because I still got the lead. Now I just go out and execute, give it to my leaders, let them do their thing. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. To the air, it's shot. Got his man quickly. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Don't want to risk anything here. The quarterback takes a knee. 